Hey, Athena. It's the fourth right now. All right, so August 4th, 2018. We want to start doing some pepper profile videos. We want to make sure that everybody understands we and our unique experience is more of a personal experience video. We're not tutors and we are definitely not a source if you're trying to, you know. There's a lot of other uh, videos out here that might show this stuff a lot better. This is just our personal experience and we wanted to start doing some pepper videos. It's just a quick little browse of what we have going on. The video we are going to work on this time, as far as profiling a pepper, is going to be the Hot Red Cherry, or also known as the Cherry Bomb Pepper. And so let me move this into a better position. I can show it to you guys, and I will talk to you again in just a minute. Love you. All right, August 4th, 2018. This is the hot red cherry pepper. This is about 50 cent piece size, about the size of a 50 cent piece. I don't know if uh, anybody knows what those are anymore, but the way you can always tell if you have a male or female pepper plant, if anybody was curious, is all pepper plants are male and female, but anyways, this is the hot red cherry. We wintered this indoors. I did do a video on it where I uh, show hand pollination and how we do that indoors and outdoors and the various methods that can be used. But this is the hot red cherry, really resilient. The stems are really thick. They start off green, they get really, really big, and then they slowly start to change over to red. These are a couple of the clippings that we took off this winter. And they are producing leaves and flowers, so. Um, we like it because it's really resistant. We're gonna show you a taste test on some of these. We bought it from a uh, nursery, a local nursery. The local nursery labeled it a red hot cherry pepper. And we look it up online and there's also what's called a cherry bomb. So the, from what I can decipher about this pepper, it's basically a cherry bomb pepper. Imagine instead of talking about a cherry bomb pepper, you're talking about a jalapeno. You have mild varieties of jalapeno and you have a hot variety of jalapeno. The red hot cherry should be about 15,000 to 25,000 Scoville units, which is two to three times hotter than a jalapeno. And the cherry bomb pepper should be more sweet and eatable and it should be the equivalent of one to five thousand scoville units so eight times less as hot of a jalapeno or a, about the equivalent of a mild jalapeno so we are going to taste this to find out if it's a cherry bomb or a red hot cherry to see how hot it is and uh it is a pretty strong plant, so I don't believe this one will be one that's wintered over. We will show you a little bit more in just one moment, but hot red cherry or cherry bomb pepper. We'll find out in just a moment. Really strong, really resilient plant. We'll see how those taste. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. All right, so one quick little look again at the hot red cherry pepper. I took this from next to the dumpster and put dirt in it. The plant came from a nursery. We put the plant in it, wintered it over, hand pollinating. Purple light will produce peppers and stronger, healthier looking leaves. But if you're looking for actual growth, you want to use the regular yellow grow light color is what we have found with this pepper anyways. All of our opinions are uh, just based on personal experience. This isn't a tutorial and this isn't a accurate portrayal for everybody's scenario and situation as we understand as gardeners we can have completely unique situations but the hot red cherry pepper is flowering we got some that are almost ripe here we know somebody else is growing this exact same pepper from the exact same source at the small town farm market we got so we got some of the ripe peppers from them that's what the plant looks like it's really really strong the peppers that a show up on it it's got pretty good flowering too this wouldn't be the optimal scenario at this time of the year for it but this is our personal experience took it from a nursery 
put it in that we found by the dumpster, wintered it over, moved it into that. We found that laying in a field out there after a windstorm. So I'm unsure this pepper, I don't think it was one of our free ones. I think we bought this for like three bucks, but pretty cool. About to taste those out. Love you guys. All right, guys, in the interest of uh, ancient technology, <laughs> I'm gonna show you this pepper video. These right here are from uh, the same type of plant that we are growing in our yard, also from a nursery that went to a local farm market where she is growing the same kind here. She had called them hot red cherry tomatoes as well, but peppers. she said, or peppers, so she said that they weren't very hot about jalapeno heat and really sweet and really good. One of the things that I'd like to show real quick is how we save pepper seeds. A very good way to save pepper seeds is to make sure that the pepper is completely ripe and you can leave it in the pot and dry it. Having said that, when we had this in our yard last year and we got the peppers, we tried to save these and in saving and trying to save those we noticed they are a juicy pepper so basically it'll rot. If you want to save seeds from one of these juicier peppers that are kind of like this, you're going to want to cut the seeds out, clean them off yourself and then dry them. You're not going to want to leave them in the pod for the method where you just leave the thing in the pot unless you can somehow dry them. The problem with that is you basically need to heat the pepper up, slow, slow do it in the oven and you could destroy your seeds if you're trying to save them. So if you're trying to save seeds from this plant, you're going to want to open it up. It's usually when it starts to ripen to the area you want seeds, it'll become a little softer. and it'll rot for all that placenta and it'll just basically kill off all the seeds. So open the pepper up, pull the seeds out like that. If this pepper is 15 to 25,000 Scoville units, it is a red hot cherry. If it is one to 5,000, it's my opinion, it's just a cherry bomb pepper. There is the possibility as well that it was a red hot cherry, but the heat just over a couple generations uh, came out of it mostly but we're gonna see how this works I got some milk on the standby I usually like to have orange juice all the people that eat hot peppers on online that are really good at it and been doing it for a while they uh, use orange juice I also have this Powerade here even if it's one to five thousand even if it's Eight times weaker than a jalapeno, I'm probably going to be a crybaby, so this is for you guys. Love ya. Wow. That is really, really good. It is not hot. That is not hot. Tons and tons and tons of seeds in these. Wow, that second bite was really hot. <laughs> I wouldn't say uh, quite jalapeno though. I think this is just a cherry bomb pepper. That it's either, either lost its heat after multiple grows. If it's a red hot cherry. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, you guys. Ah. Jalapenos destroy us. What's the inside looks like? I'll take another couple crosses. Tons and tons of placenta. The placenta is probably only one to 5,000 Scoville units. The rest of the pepper without the placenta. And the seeds, from what I understand, the seeds aren't hot, but they just collect that capsicum oil in them. So they are technically hot because they collect that oil, but the oil mostly grows on the placenta of the pepper. There's a couple cross sections of it. Um, <clears throat> here's a Powerade cap. So with the seeds and the placenta, I might hesitate for a second, but without that, it 
It's not bad at all. I would say the placenta is about 5,000 Scoville units. The outer shell, about 1,000. So if you eat these peppers and you can't handle heat, I would take the placenta and the seeds out. And uh, if you're trying to save seeds on it, don't dry it in the pot if that's your method because it usually just tends to soften up and ripe. These look like tomatoes. That looks like a soft tomato right there. But this is, I'm pretty sure, a cherry bomb pepper or it's labeled as the hot red cherry. The same nursery we got it from this year. Last year they had Cherokee purple tomatoes. This year they had something called the purple Cherokee. And I swear the picture had yellow stripes on it, so I don't know what that was about. But hot red cherry or cherry bomb. This is a, a taste test video, kind of. Once again, definitely not tutors. To be honest, without the placenta on there, I would feed this to my son, but he doesn't like peppers at all. But you want to try it? We'll get a second opinion here real quick. When we do pepper pepper pusher videos, I'll probably be the face behind it. And when we do the tomato testing videos, we will uh, Angel will be the face behind it. We think so. We uh, are at seventy four subs. We went to release a golden eagle. Came back, um, Sapper, shout out to him. He uh, shouted us out in a video. We had seven more subscribers. We're up to 74 subs and we want our channel to remain mostly humble as far as that's concerned. We want to basically stay to the personal experience and almost like the home video kind of thing. And we understand that a lot of uh, our friends and family and subscribers are watching our stuff now. So we will try to entertain you guys a little bit. <laughs> But uh, if any of our videos are too long, you know, no obligation. We're not concerned with monetize, monetization. We're not concerned with analytics. We uh, watch all your guys' yards. We love what you guys are doing. We love that you share your experiences with us. We get to explore different scenarios, different plants, different unique things. We, we love watching you guys, and we love the support that we're getting from you guys. It has really uh, helped our family to bond out there in the yard. This is the Cherry Bomb, also known as the Hot Red Cherry. It is mild, except for the placenta and the seeds. It tastes really good. It tastes really sweet. Like a bell pepper with just a little bit of heat. Yep, the shell on it was really, really good. Have you tried any of the placenta? No, I'm not going to. And that's <laughs> only hot for a second. But... This has been a Pepper Pusher production. We want to post more pepper videos for the people. Try to do some more profiles on these peppers. Mostly what we got purple this year. <laughs> it is August 4th, 2018. The Cherry Bomb. Love you guys. Thanks for watching.